This is the moment a magnitude 7 earthquake hit Alaska's biggest city. It happened this morning as people were heading into work and getting their kids ready for school. The good news is right now there are no reports of any deaths or injuries, but the damage to buildings and roads is extensive. The epicenter was just north of Anchorage, a city of almost 300,000 people, and it was felt almost 600 kilometers away in Fairbanks. Despite a warning, there was no tsunami, but the region was hit by aftershocks. The earth moved just before 8.30 this morning local time. A big jolt followed by shaking that started slowly but grew more violent. It sent lawyers in this Anchorage courthouse scrambling for cover. While parents rushed to find their children and their pets. This was the scene inside Anchorage Airport. Passengers with few places to duck and cover did what they could to protect themselves. FedEx 49 heavy, go around. Going around FedEx 49. Meanwhile, pilots flying overhead were told to divert their planes as the tower was evacuated. We're just inspecting it now. It looks like our ceiling's come down and our equipment's everywhere. A tremor that lasted just seconds left damage that could take months to repair. This crumbled on-ramp leads to the airport. The people inside that car made it out safely. It felt like, you know, we had busted an axle. The whole car started weaving, and so we started slowing down. And as we, you know, went up the on-ramp, everything around us started crumbling away. Helicopters were deployed to survey the damage from above. Uh, all of these are TVs and computers. This is a camera. People on the ground crawling out from under tables and out of doorways to find scenes like this, a local newsroom all but destroyed. These edit bays uh, are supposed to look like this with this nice glass here, but over here we have this pile of broken, shattered glass. This was the damage at a high school and in a library. A state of emergency has been declared to activate funds for the cleanup, and the National Guard has been called in to help assess the full extent of the damage. Well, our seismologist, Johanna Wagstaff, is helping us track this story. And Joe, I, I know the city of Anchorage is in the process of checking infrastructure, and they say they're especially concerned about bridges, not just because of potential damage from the earthquake, but also aftershocks, and we've seen aftershocks. Absolutely, Ian. Hundreds of aftershocks, many of them not felt, but many large ones too. A magnitude 5.7 earlier today that would have caused strong shaking in and around the Anchorage area. We'll likely see aftershocks continue over the next few hours, days, and weeks. And even though they'll diminish over time in strength and intensity, uh, we could still get another big one in the next couple of days. And because Anchorage sits on sediments, uh, we see amplified shaking. So definitely still concern for more damage. The aftershock are also helping us figure out how much of the earth actually moved during this main quake. There's an ominous list for a lot of us on the West Coast, uh, and it's the earthquakes that have happened near big cities over the last few years. 1989, San Francisco, 94, Los Angeles, and 2001, it was Seattle, and of course, uh, earlier today in Anchorage. So as you, as you look at that, w what does that have to say about what is likely to happen here in Vancouver or Victoria, for that matter? Yeah, Ian, we are absolutely worried about this kind of earthquake here on the south coast. Very similar tectonic setting off the west coast of B.C., south coast of B.C., and what is happening off the coast of Anchorage. Uh, we are worried about those magnitude 7s closer to a bigger city. And like we saw in Anchorage, well, not all the buildings came down. Uh, we are looking at uh, major damage to older buildings and to infrastructure. And that's why the concept of resiliency is so important here. It's not just surviving the quake. It's trying to figure out how to get life back to normal afterwards. And in the case of Anchorage on what is going to be a cold uh, night and few days. All right, Johanna, thank you. You're welcome.